Hey everybody, Superfluous J here with another Factorio for Beginners, and uh, we're hopefully doing robots today, that's the goal. Uh, but first, we're going to need more circuits, so we might as well just double our circuit production uh, while we're here. And also, uh, use... Uh, I guess I should probably put these power poles where these ones are, because I put them there for a reason. Um, and then this one here does all of these, so this one here would do all these, and we don't need these power poles anymore. And then these power poles here, 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 and here replace these ones. Okay, then we can just create all these. I screwed that up. I kind of assumed that I'd be able to click and drag, but I obviously couldn't. <laughs> and then we'll run these guys. All the inserters. And uh, all the belts. Oops. Actually, yeah, this belt goes this way. This belt goes this way. Yeah, now all these inserters, as soon as I get inserter capacity bonus three, these inserters two are going to instantly be twice as fast because they're going to be taking from one factory right to the other. And that's a, that's a, um, that's something that benefits from the stack size. It just, you know, it does they don't have to pick up each in item individually. They can just, uh, they can just grab the two items out. So it, it makes them much better. But uh, we're definitely, we're getting into the, the part of the game where uh, we're gonna need a lot of circuits and we're gonna need a lot of uh, machines making circuits. And we're gonna need to make sure that these guys are making circuits, yes they are. And we're now having a problem with copper. See this, this is where, this is where the fun starts happening. Um, in order to get the circuits at the speed we want them, we need more copper. These machines are being starved of copper because we're, we're getting too much. So before we uh, before we start working on robots, let's start working on copper. And I think what I want to do, instead of uh, instead of trying to um, instead of trying to uh, make another copper line. I think I'm going to do this thing with the steel furnaces, and as I say that, I'm starting to doubt if I want to do that. Um, it's all—it's all really do. I have the—I have the stone furnaces right now on me, so it would be dumb to—it would be dumb to make steel furnaces to do that. So let's go ahead and try to uh, clear off a line here, without destroying uh, anything in my actual factory. Let's clear off this space of trees. And I hurt that power pole. <laughs> so let's fix it. Okay. So we'll run out. We'll run a copper line down. We'll we'll actually copy the entire copper line that's already here, like that. And we will run it right there. We'll just we'll just do it one off so that it uh, goes around that pipe. A tree is in the way. Well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. There's the tree, and uh, here comes the uh, here comes the fun of a new copper line. Uh, that means we're also going to need more mining, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. And you end up doing this a lot in the game. Oh, I actually ran out of belts. That's a little crazy. You do that a lot in the game too. Uh, I'm going to get rid of some of the junk in my inventory here. Stone. Uh, yeah, a lot of the junk in my inventory isn't stuff I can easily get rid of. Let's throw some copper in. Where's these copper coming from? It's over here. But yeah, I need uh, I need regular belts, and I'm gonna need undergrounds. Probably don't need any splitters. Probably don't need any more inserters. Uh, you know what? I'm probably going to need power poles, though. 47 regular power poles probably isn't enough. I should probably also uh, grab some engines so I can make myself a car. 
Let's see what I need. Oh yeah, power poles. Let's uh, let's just grab two stacks so we're not filling up our inventory with stuff. And then we'll head up here and take care of uh, take care of copper. So yeah, getting robotics this episode is probably <laughs> a bit of a pipe dream considering uh, what we're gonna have to do here to to get copper going. It's just you need electronic circuits badly for most of the rest of the game. And if I if I don't if I don't get if I don't get the copper flowing, it's not going to we're not going to get uh, circuits in the uh, in the amount that I want. Now I said I can't cover both of these lines, so I might as well just do one. This is this is very likely the last one of these lines I'm going to make. Uh, oops. Because we're gonna start, we're gonna start pulling stuff in from outside, and and when I do that, I can uh, I can retrofit the uh, the current smelters that are running like uh, iron here at a at a very low amount because I'm not I don't have enough iron. Um, I can I can turn that into a copper one as well, um, which actually I might actually do with this episode as well. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oops. But uh, tell you what, because you've been so good, I'm going to cut out now and uh, I'll come back when this is all put together because there's really no need to watch this. Okay, I have uh, I've completed the line um, and, and I'm getting ready to to run copper over to it. However, um, I just for the fun of it, uh, prioritized the the as we go the 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 ones to the right of all the uh, the iron um, belts here so that they're constantly feeding the, the the first one and that's completely starved this guy of resources so I could actually make two copper lines and I'm gonna do that um, I'm gonna repurpose this belt here to be a copper belt and I'm gonna bring another copper belt in um, so we don't need uh, this line at all. And what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, we're going to max out this uh, this ore patch here, and then we're going to start running copper. We're also going to uh, finally do this and this. And let's see, he's got ore on him. Uh, this guy doesn't have any ore on him anymore, so we can actually remove oh we can remove this belt here, which will cause that to run a lot faster. And we don't need these power poles anymore, which is nice, or this, or any of these guys. But more importantly than that, how much does he's still got 750? More importantly than that, we can take this away. Put this here instead. And then run this. Uh, I can probably get rid of this. Run this up here, and then I can get rid of all of this junk, and then we'll have room to uh, to take care of this mix patch as well. So I think I'm going to do that right now. Let's uh, let's fix all this. Oh, I don't I don't want to be mining junk off the ground. Let's fix this whole thing here, and here I will probably want to turn this guy this way. I'm gonna stop production for a second here, but this is this is an important thing to do uh, throughout the time is refactoring how you uh, how you get your resources in because uh, it's a it's a big deal. Um, I'm actually gonna remove this entire line. I'm gonna stand on this thing. Okay. See, junk like this is <laughs> stupid looking too. Uh, how the how that goes underground for no reason whatsoever. Okay, so we have uh, we're only going to have two iron lines coming out of that iron patch because we just don't have the we don't have the capacity for it for for more than that. So what we're going to do here is uh, you know we're going to do this and then that, and we don't need to do any more. And we're going to change one of these guys into a red as well. Uh, entirely all the way. I don't know if we can support a red line, but if we can, we're going to. So we're only going to have two lines coming out here. We're going to have we're going to have a. Uh, uh, and actually, let's run this guy across. We're going to have a. 
So he goes that way and these two go this way. So we're gonna, we're gonna bring this guy up like this. Uh, he, that was needed. I'm gonna bring these guys up like this and run them into a red splitter and then have a red belt going up to this red belt. Then we're gonna have a yellow belt going from this guy, and just for now we'll run it like that. So this one line here is this yellow belt, and then these two lines together are this red belt. And we need to power these guys, so we'll just get that for now. And we got a ton of iron ore in our inventory, which I always hate. So let's toss it in these machines here. Two, three, four, five, there we go. And I don't have any copper ore, which is nice. But uh, let's go ahead and run these, run these copper uh, miners here. We need to make sure that we're not accidentally mining any iron. I'm hovering over these to, to look over here. If you look at the, the amount of copper that these guys make, and none of them are making uh, iron as well. This guy would, this guy would, this guy wouldn't, so we can start running it from here. And then, uh, let's see, this wood, so we're gonna start running it from here. And then I think we got one more line that we can do, and we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just send it off like that, doesn't really matter. Okay, so, uh, I don't need to do this, let's, uh, let's switch over to yellow belts again. Let's get this guy going here. And then we'll need to do the, uh, the same under over thing that we do with all of our lines. Uh, let's see, he would come up, so we actually want under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And then this guy, uh, oh, this guy actually here. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this guy as close to this patch as I can. And then also have a guy here, and then have a guy here, and then this guy here. And uh, if I remember, I don't think actually it will work, because this guy only goes six. Oh, it does work. Um, however, I can't put this guy here, and there's no stuff, there's no ore there. So I'm going to do this. I use this guy because he has a longer stretch. Um, yellow, yellow underground, I don't know if I talked about this. Yellow underground stretch four, red underground stretch six. So... Um, that allows you to, to do different things with the with the different belt types. Now I don't need it to go fast because there's not going to be enough ore in here to really matter. And in fact, I can just send it up to there. Just to help this belt actually have enough resources on it. And then, uh, so these guys together will probably make a red belt. So what I'm going to do here is turn this guy up here and then we're going to make a red belt there and then we're going to send that red belt up and we'll uh we'll probably send it up on this line here to send to send copper over to those guys but let's get these guys powered first uh let's use up the uh oh let's also get this going and he's already set so now we just need to power everything uh, we'll start here, and I'm just using these wooden poles because we happen to have them. When we run out, I'll switch to my real power poles. Uh, one here, and then we'll just put one there. So there's all the copper going. And then we're going to run it on a red belt up here. And, uh, yeah, I don't see any reason to not do something stupid like this. Other than the fact that I just ran out of uh, <laughs> red belt. Okay, I'm going to do something even stupider now. I'm going to run. Actually, I need a... No, it can be a yellow splitter. I'm going to run, run it into a splitter so that the... The red belt that's coming here actually is hits this splitter and comes through fully. 
And then actually I need to cut this right now. And then here's the line that I made that's gonna start making copper. And this is the line that, that oh, look at that, there's a, that was probably never there. <laughs> um, that's, that's the problem of using ghosts. But this line used to have iron on it. And see, it still does have iron ore down here. Um, and I don't want this line going this way anymore. I want it, uh, I want it to be a copper line. Actually, it can go this way, but it can't go this way anymore. I want this to be a copper line. And I also want this to be a copper line. So then all of these copper lines can come down here and I, I would throw a grenade, but I would probably end up blowing up a couple of my lines here. But this is going to be a copper line and this is going to be a copper line. And that gives me a lot more copper. See, this one's already going. This one now can start. So now, now we, we we just we just retrofitted this this iron smelter into a copper smelter, um, and I'm very concerned about the amount of iron we have. So I think it's time <laughs> now <laughs> to start uh, our iron uh, production over in the uh, other side. So what do we need for that? We need, as I said, we need um, electric furnaces. Electric furnaces take steel plates, advanced circuits, and stone bricks, um, and we're gonna need. Um, I, I want one smelter arrays worth of them. Uh, and like I said before, they're the same as these. So for one red belt, we're going to need 48 of these things. I, I just I hit control C just so you see here. I hit control C and I highlighted this and I'm just counting the number of steel furnaces because I know I'm going to need the same number of electric furnaces. And that's 48. So I need 48 total. I can make nine right now. Um, so let's make five, six, seven. Oh, we don't want to make. Let's just do that. I, I don't want to I don't want to make red red circuits. That That's dumb. So let's uh, let's head down here and uh, pick up red circuits off the belt. And we're also going to need bricks, uh, which I don't know how many we have offhand, but we're going to need them. Here's red circuits, so I'm just going to take these off the belt. And I, I actually think also I'm going to uh, I'm going to limit this belt like this, so that red circuits only go on one side of it, um, because they're only going up to the uh, to the splitters, and that would be a that would be kind of a big waste. So let's go uh, five, six, seven, eight, and now we're gonna need bricks. That's that's what we're that's what we're out of. So let me find bricks on the bus. Uh, there they are. Um, and actually, am I am I taking them off here in order to put them in a box? That would be the smart thing to do. I am not. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a splitter here. And I'm gonna prioritize actually no, let's let's not do that. Let's use a let's use a filter inserter. <laughs> actually, do I have filter inserters in my inventory already? I do not. I have stack inserters. Okay, let's go up here and grab a filter inserter. Let's grab, let's grab 50 of them. Let's use a filter inserter here. Uh, and we just want to do this and then put a box here. And we're going to say, you grab stone bricks. Uh, I think they're in the first line here. Yeah, you grab stone bricks. We need to power them. Um, and yeah, we'll just let that run. We'll let, we'll let him, we'll let him grab as many as he can because uh, we're gonna need a lot because uh, we're gonna we're gonna get back to paving pretty soon too because I'm getting sick of uh, walking around so um, but for the meantime I want to be able to just make all of these now we have eight so there's five more and then I need more steel which I can just grab off the, the line here I don't want to grab it off here because uh, it'll it'll end up grabbing copper and stuff too so I'm gonna run to the main line. We'll just run down and just pick a whole bunch of steel up off the belt. And then now we need more stone brick. <laughs> this is why you put things in a mall, so you don't have to do this kind of thing. It's just I only I only want 48 of them really quick here. Uh, let's see, so we're making 19 and we have 15. 
So we're making 30 some odds. We still need a few. Uh, and for that we need more stone brick. So I'll grab this and then we'll run out here and grab more. Where we can easily grab it off the belt. And then, so 15 and 19 is, uh, well, 20 and 14 is easier. That's 34. There's 44. 45, 46, 47. I need one more. So I need some, I needed some stone and some steel to make one more. There we go. Now I have the exact number I need in order to, uh, in order to make my, um, oh, look at that. Oh, I was also researching a bunch of, a bunch of junk like, um, uh, you know, laser turret shooting speed and things like that. Just just things that, that get me better stuff so without having to talk about it. Um, and I'm running pretty low on stuff. I, I, I can't make purple or yellow science yet. So um, things like refined flammables, it just... Oh, I can't actually do that one. Why can't I do that one? Oh, because I'm missing flamethrower. I don't want to research the flamethrower yet until I'm ready to, uh, to actually do it. So that's actually it for my research, though. I can't research anything else uh, until I uh, until I want to talk about it. Uh, so, oh, we also need to run these lines down. Because now that we have more copper lines coming in, we need to, uh, we need to utilize them here. And I think this one I'm only going to run down to the next time we take copper. And prioritize to the left. There we go. And then, uh, this one up here, I'm going to... Just to save belts. I'm going to run the third one here, just to here. Actually, my, oh, I need to, no, not to the right, to the left. If I could click correctly. There we go. Then copy, paste, paste. And then I'm going to run this line all the way up to here. And then we're already, we're already sending these guys across. I, I can still paste, so I'm just going to do that. And then now, now we're, we're prioritizing everything to the left here, which is what we want. Paste. Yeah, see, a lot of the copper is going to get sucked into, um, it's going to get sucked into circuits. And then just what's left over after after filling both of these lines, which is currently nothing. You see that <laughs> we're, we're using up all of the copper that's coming down. And uh, actually, I guess I could run this line. And I guess I'll run it to here. And then I'll run this line down to the next one. And I'm out of belts. But yeah, I wanna. I, I I just have to keep the. I have to keep the resources flowing. This is this is, uh, what you what you come across. This is this is the problems you have, and I'm gonna need these, which of course is gonna drain my iron supply. <laughs> it's just it's just the way it works. You have to take care of this stuff now. I would love to start making robots, but you have to take care of this kind of stuff before you need it. Um, so that's why I'm doing it now, as opposed to um, dealing with robots first. I'm gonna run this to here. I'm just. As we uh, as we get farther and farther down, we have less and less copper on the belt, so I don't need to run these lines down. Although I'm going to eventually. And you notice now we have no iron coming down either, because all of the iron is going into making uh, it's going into making um, uh, gears, because I just I just took all those gears. So yeah, we're we're in a bad way. So we are going to head over to. Uh, pick up iron plates and we'll leave the, we'll leave the, actually we'll do the circuit condition like we did last time. And of course we're not going to be able to get all the way to that station because, um, there's a train in that station already, but he'll pull up to here and that's good enough for us right now. Um, and this is also going to be something that we're going to do next time. Uh, and I actually just changed my mind slightly. There's something I want to do as we're going. Uh, yeah, there's no path. See, it says no path, even though like if I wanted to go to drop iron plates, I could I can say go to it. And he's saying there's no path because he's not allowed to go this way um, because this is a one way track. I've set it up as a one way track with the with the with the uh, 
signals that I put up there. So, but I can go into manual mode and drive him forward. And then once we get on the main track, then I can say, drop iron, go to drop iron plates and then he'll go the way he, he wants to go. And the reason I went back is because I wanna, I wanna start doing, um, I wanna run a uh, line of power poles um, over to, uh, over to the other, the other base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this power pole here and then I'm gonna put another power pole as far over here as I can. And then I'm gonna put one, yeah. Let me think, actually I want it on this side because reasons. So I'm gonna put a power pole there. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get back in my train. I'm gonna go into manual mode just to get on the, uh, just to get on the main line. Then I'm going to be ready. Actually, let me. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay, I'm just going to drive forward as I do this. Now I've, I'm clicking down on here, so I'm dragging a power pole. Because we need to run power out to this uh, station, so I might as well do it this way. And then that's probably good. So then let's back up. I'm going to go turn to the right. Oh, and then we're done with research. And like I said, that's it for the research, which is probably good because we don't have any resources anyway. Uh, so I'm going to leave the train here and then we're going to run the power down like this so that we can start, uh, we can start mining and smelting and delivering iron to the, to the base from here. So I guess that's what we're doing next time. Uh, we'll get to robots eventually. It's just, you got to take care of resources. That's the way, that's the way Factorio works. I hope you're looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to doing it. I'm Superfluous J and I will, as always, forget miners. No, I have plenty of miners. I'll talk at you later.